Hi everyone, today, we bring you on a journey to Costa Blanca's white building city in Spain. Please, if you could do us a favor by subscribing to our channel. It will mean the world to us. I had always heard that Alicante, a beautiful city on Spain's Costa Blanca, is more than just its beaches. So when I visited in August, I was determined to explore one of its most famous landmarks, Castel de Santa Barbara, an ancient fortress that stands tall above the city. Little did I know, the journey to the top would be as memorable as the view itself. It was a scorching hot day, typical of summer in Alicante. The temperature had reached a blistering 42 degrees Celsius, and the air was dry. There wasn't a single breeze to offer any relief. As I set out to hike up to the castle, I quickly realized this wasn't going to be easy. I wasn't alone in feeling the heat, the streets were quiet, and it seemed like everyone had decided to head to the beach to cool off. But I had set my mind on reaching the top, so I began the climb. The path up to Castel de Santa Barbara isn't challenging, the path is well made but in the midday heat, it felt much harder than I had anticipated. With every step, the sun beat down relentlessly, and there wasn't a single patch of shade to hide from the heat. I had to stop a few times along the way to catch my breath and take a sip of water. Looking down, I could see the city below starting to shrink, and I knew I was making progress, even though it felt like a slow uphill battle. Despite the heat, there was something peaceful about the walk. The stone walls of the fortress stood proudly against the bright blue sky, and I couldn't help but think about how many people, throughout history, had made the same climb to defend the city. That thought kept me going as I neared the top. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, I reached the summit of Castel de Santa Barbara. And let me tell you, the view made it all worth it. From the top of the castle, the city of Alicante stretched out endlessly before me. The first thing that caught my eye was the Mediterranean Sea, sparkling in the sunlight. The coastline curved gently, and I could see the busy harbor where boats of all shapes and sizes were docked. The roads below seemed tiny, like lines drawn on a map, and the people down on the beach looked like ants, moving slowly between the rows of colorful sun umbrellas. Even though the heat was still intense, I felt a wave of relief wash over me, the sight was stunning. It was one of those moments that made me forget all the sweat and struggle it took to get there. I stood there for a while, capturing images from left to right and right to left. I do not know where to look. I was just taking it all in. The city was a mix of modern buildings and older structures, all glowing under the golden sun. It was as if I could see the entire history of Alicante from up there, from the ancient walls of the castle to the busy streets below. Made perfect sense why everyone had chosen to spend the day at the beach. After all, when you're in a place like Alicante during the peak of summer, the beach is the best place to be. As I walked around the castle, I thought about how much the view changed depending on where you stood. From one angle, you could see the old town with its narrow streets and traditional Spanish buildings. From another, you had a clear view of the modern parts of Alicante, with its high-rise apartments and busy roads. It was a perfect blend of the old and the new, and it made me appreciate the city even more. 
After spending some time wandering around the castle and snapping a few photos, I realized it was time to head back down. The heat still hadn't eased, and I was beginning to feel the toll of walking in such intense conditions. The thought of cooling off at the beach was becoming more and more appealing. Although there were buses available to take me back down, I chose to walk, hoping to capture a few more pictures along the way. The descent was much easier, and as I made my way back into the city, a sense of achievement washed over me. Climbing up to Castel de Santa Barbara in the middle of summer had been no easy task, but the stunning views of Alicante from above made every step worthwhile. When I finally reached the seaside, it was clear why it was so packed with people. The sea breeze was a welcome relief, cool and refreshing, and the gentle sound of waves hitting the shore brought an instant sense of calm. I found a seat at a busy restaurant nearby, where I treated myself to a cold drink and indulged in my favorite vanilla ice cream. Looking back up at the castle, I felt a sense of pride for having made it to the top in that heat of 42 degrees Celsius. Castel de Santa Barbara wasn't just a beautiful landmark, it was a challenge, a journey, and a reward all in one. If you ever find yourself in Alicante, especially in the summer heat, I highly recommend climbing. It may be tough, but the view from the top will stay with you long after you've made your way back down to the shores below. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoy this journey with us today.